Today we've got the Mantis Knives Vuja Day. Not Deja Vu, but Vuja Day. <clears throat> A karambit belly song something or other that we're going to chat about. This came in from Alex. Uh, link to all of his stuff down below, of course. This is interesting. Like, it's odd. It can <clears throat> kind of fly open like that. Karambit style. Pinky ring style. I, I don't know, man. I'm not sure what the point. Okay, it's not really a karambit. It's not really a ballet song. It's a hybrid, goofy something that's interesting. <clears throat> not going to really talk about all the specs. This is an older knife. You can find them. I'll put a, some links down below if I can find it um, where you can purchase them. I, I think I saw one at Knife Center for like 80 bucks. I think it was maybe even still in stock. It's just an interesting piece. And it's, I own a lot of weird and interesting things. I've got the, the Hellraisers, a lot of people think are very odd. The Phil Harvey collection that I have, very odd, um, big, beefy. So I kind of have a lot of weird things. And this is something that's almost too weird for me. Just because I don't. <clears throat> I just wouldn't carry this. Although, am I carrying the uh, Phil Harvey Peacemaker? No, not really. But you could. You could carry the Peacemaker. <clears throat> it does fit in my pocket. I demonstrated that last weekend down in Orange County with some friends of mine. And I pulled this out of the case and everybody went, what the hell? Yeah, that is why I bought that. Same thing with the Phil Harvey war crime. Everybody goes, what the? Again, exactly why I bought it. This guy, I don't know. It's unique. It's cool. It's different. G10. Kind of a, I don't know. I don't even know what size the blade is or what steel it is. I didn't even look at all of that stuff because it was more about just talking about the knife and talking about the varied collections that I have and that a lot of people have. So the way this works, this is a spring-loaded tab so that when it's closed, <clears throat> holds it all together. There is a button, you know, fire button, if you will, a button lock. This springs out, and then it just automatically locks open. Very cool. So I was actually talking with Jim Skelton earlier today before I filmed this about, he had sent me a knife and said, dude, you need to get one of these. I'm like, that's really not my style. It's a little too Persian-y for me. <clears throat> and he kind of made a joke about that. And, and then I started to think, <clears throat> I don't really have a style. Like I, I've got a wide variety of knives. From $10 to $10,000, right? So, I mean, I don't own this one, but I own equally odd type of things between this, the Hellraisers, the war crime I showed earlier. Um, I've got, you know, the Frank Fisher Battles. I've got the VC Edge interfaces, which I can't show right now because they are out with Jim. He's going to do videos on them soon. Um, so I have a wide range. I don't really have <clears throat> a style. I've got the VC Edge interface that's 1.5 ounces, and I've got the Phil Harvey Peacemaker at two point like two pounds and eight ounces or something. It's it's kind of ridiculous. And then everything in between. Right. So I think the variety is the spice of life or something like that. They say, I think that's what Jim said. <clears throat> um, and I even have some fixed blades because, well, this one glows in the dark. So I had to have it. 
and I needed something made by Jim. So yeah, I have a weird variety and I think a lot of people do. So when I say something isn't really my style, that's kind of an odd comment if I really stop and think about it because my style is very, very varied, if you will. So let me know down below your style if you have one. I say I'm not a, a fixed blade guy, but I've got four or five. Now, granted, my fixed blades kind of sit around and don't <clears throat> get carried. They don't go anywhere or do anything except come out for Instagram and Facebook and, and videos like this. Uh, I'll give you a couple size comparisons here just so you have an idea about this Mantis. <clears throat> this is the uh, Spyderco Delica. So I think it's a cool knife. It's it's interesting. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Like, I know I do have a couple of friends, some law enforcement friends, Border Patrol, just, you know, those types of friends that are all about the Karambits. And they carry a Karambit as a defensive tool in their kit. <clears throat> They've been trained. I did carry a Karambit for a little while tried to get used to it, tried to understand it. It just didn't really work for me in my carry style and in my daily use. So I forwent, for, forwent that? I sold it because I, I had no use for it. It didn't really work for me. Um, so you guys tell me down below, are you into the Krambits or you're not into the Krambits? And what is your collection style if you have one i appreciate your time this kind of rambled on i don't didn't really have a good grasp on what i was going to talk about this one just kind of flowed into a range of carry because i don't really have a style so how i can say that this is not my style not sure but it's kind of cool it's kind of fidgety if you're into that stuff on the open, not so much on the close because you have to go in here and fold this over yourself. But on the open, it's kind of cool. Thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate your time. Please go check out Alex's channel down below.